Hello, and thank you for joining us for the first year video for the psychology program at the Brantford campus of Laurier. My name is Christina, and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Laurier, and I'm joined by two of our current psychology students, along with one of our faculty members. Before we jump into some question and answer, let's begin with introductions. Hello, my name is Brooke Snyder and I am a fourth year psychology student with a specialization in forensics and a minor in human rights and human diversity at the Laurier Brantford campus. Hi, my name is Kelly Caskinette and I am a third year psychology student at the Laurier Brantford campus. Hi, my name is Dr. Chris Alkness. I am a psychology professor at Laurier Branford. My background is in social psychology and I've been at Laurier since 2003. So I'm happy to welcome you here. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedules to join us. I know it's super busy, both as a student and as a professor, and it means so much to us that you'll share some of your experiences today. The first question I'd like to begin with is, what do you think the most important part of the first year experience is as a psychology student at the Brantford campus of Laurier? Um, in my experience, I think that the most important first year experience is really getting to know your professors um, because we are such a small campus and we're such an integrated community. Um, I think that it's really important to get your professors in or get to know your professors in first year so that you can build relationships and maintain those relationships with them throughout your undergraduate career. Um, so for me, I think the most important experience for first year program at Laurier for psychology is definitely making sure your transition from high school to university is as seamless as possible and definitely getting to know your community as Brooke mentioned. And I think just the most important thing is to remember that what you decide in first year is not always set in stone. So you don't always have to have it figured out your first day when you step into your first class, what you wanna do four years from now. And I definitely think that having that open-mindedness and looking at all the different possibilities is one of the most important things during your first year. Great. Okay. Well, and I'd just like to echo what both Brooke and Kelly said in terms of getting to know your professors. We are here to help you. We really want to get to know you. And to be fair, the first year psychology class is pretty big. It usually hovers around 200 people. Um, so it may seem intimidating to come and talk to us, but we are not intimidating people and we want to come and we want to get to know you. We want to chat with you. And that's one of the things that I love the most about being in psychology at Laurie Brantford is that when you get to the larger classes or sorry the, the upper year classes the classes are smaller and I get to know students by name which is awesome I, I love that part of it. I think something as well that um, many students don't realize coming into university is that professors will have office hours and that's a set time be it in a virtual environment maybe virtually Ideally, when we're all on campus, it's in person, and it's a time where they have an open door that you can go by and, um, you know, talk about what happened in the class, and it's such a, like, get your questions answered, get some extra help, and it's such a great opportunity to take advantage of. Um, great advice and insights from all of you as well. So speaking of that first year and what the most important part of the experience is, could you tell us also a little bit about what some of the courses and the workload are like in first year? Yeah, uh, so the course load and workload in first year is very theories based. Um, so you do ded dedicate a lot of time to homework and really getting to know those psychological theories. Um, however, I will say all of the work that you put into your first year studies will definitely be benefit you in future years as you build off that knowledge. Um, so I would say dedicate as much time as you can in your first year to getting to know um, the basics of psychology and the theory so that that can pay off for you in future years to come. Yes, that's definitely, definitely true. Um, so especially for your intro introduction to psychology course, typically you have to take um, for both first semester and second semester introduction to psychology. And it's just a really nice opportunity to just broaden your perspective about psychology. A lot of people, when they go into psychology, they don't really know what to expect. And definitely those introductions to psychology courses really help 
as Brooke mentioned, give you a theoretical perspective, as well as introduce you to the many different aspects of psychology that you can eventually take more specialized courses in in the future. And as well, typically there's five classes for your first and second semester uh, in your first year. And there's also a course that is dedicated to community service and learning. And that's a really important course, especially in the field of psychology, just to teach you about how to integrate yourself into communities and how to work with communities, especially if that's something you wanna do in the future. Excellent point. Okay, so in first year, all psychology students will take psychology, two introductory psychology courses. And those students who are also in a, uh, the forensic psychology specialization, they will take two courses in criminology as well at the introductory level. So you're gonna get that full foundation. And then as Kelly mentioned, you're going to take a course that introduces you to the concepts related to community service learning. So in second year, there are a number of courses that have a component where you have a placement out in the community. Usually it's about two hours per week. Um, and so it's a really great foundation for you to understand what are the special things that you need to know about when you're working with, say, with younger children or with seniors? Um, and it just gives you the sense of comfort um, and the knowledge that you need in order to go into those courses, into those uh, placements. I also want to mention for the forensic psychology people, there is a brand new physical forensics minor that's being introduced in community health. And so on our side in psychology, you get the why do people behave in particular ways and how does that, how does the psychological knowledge help us understand um, criminal behavior? The physical forensics is a minor and there's a first year course in that that gets you into the biology piece of it. So trace analysis, DNA analysis, blood spatter analysis. So if you're interested in having the full range of a, of a forensic psychology experience, I would say pick up maybe that course to kind of get you a feel for whether you're interested in doing the, the, the major plus a minor. The forensic psychology is just so cool, I think. Um, I wish that that program was available when I was an undergraduate student, uh, but it's it's so neat, so many interesting courses. Um, I know we sort of touched on the community service learning course that you take and the placements that you'll have, um, but I'm wondering what are, what are some opportunities that you'll either have coming up or opportunities that you've had within the program that you really just loved and that get you kind of excited? Um, if you could share, share one of those, that would be great. Yeah, so I've also taken a few uh, community service learning placements in my undergraduate, which uh, I think allow you to really put in practice the skills that you learn in your courses. Um, however, one of my greatest takeaways from my undergraduate uh, career is completing a thesis on mental illness in film. Um, so the nice thing about the Laurier Brantford campus is that because you have those opportunities to really get to know your professors, you build working relationships with them and that has allowed me to complete a thesis or research project in a field that I'm really passionate about that I can then take into my post-grad studies. Yeah, I definitely think that the community service learning component of Laurier Branford's campus is one of the most unique things about the program. I don't know of any other psychology programs that integrate a component like that. And it really helps you to decide if this is something you wanna go into. And there's a variety of different placements that you can get. Some of my favorite have been in schools or I've also um, volunteered in a um, homeless shelter. And especially during the pandemic, as we don't know when we're going to be returning to in-person classes, um, I think that Laurier Brantford in particular has done a really good job at adjusting to the pandemic, but still making sure you get that community experience. So for the pandemic in particular, I've done a community service placement where you, where I've looked at um, certain populations that have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic and how certain organizations have helped them and um, kind of just altered their response to make it so that we still have a community focus in psychology. And I think that's really, really important. And like I said, very unique to Laurier Branford. 
That's so great to hear both of your experiences, Brooke and Kelly, because I think uh, what I'm really excited about is the fact that we do have, again, by virtue of our smallness, um, and just we have such great connections out there in the community. So the fact that, you know, the community service agencies have had an issue in terms of how to pivot to provide their services and that students are involved in that new service delivery model, right? And so really understanding, um, walking, you know, once you leave your degree, you've really got a full understanding of what it's like to work in the community and the, the exciting things that sometimes need to be done in terms of pivoting and, and creating service provision in a different way. Um, and then with Brooke, in terms of the one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of experience that you got for, researching in an area so under the supervision of a faculty member who has similar research interests and that the two of you work on a project together that in turn is a it's really exciting because it's something that you get to choose um, and b it's something that shows at the next level so whether you decide to go on to graduate school or you decide that you would like to work out in the community you have demonstrated to people that you know how to structure a research project and that you've successfully run a research project. And these are skills that, that employers are looking for. So I'm so excited to hear that the, the, the program gave you that. Very cool. Yeah, it is really exciting to hear. And I always love learning how students who are taking the similar program or the same program are pursuing different paths. And I think, Kelly, what you said early on about remembering that when you start in first year, you don't have to know what you want to do in four years is music to my ears. Um, it's such an exciting adventure that you get to go on discovering all of that. Um, okay, this is going to be the hardest question that I ask you all day, so I hope you're prepared for it. Um, what is your single most favorite first year memory being a student at Laurier? It is definitely a hard question to narrow down just one uh, favorite memory. However, I will have to say that as a commuter student, my favorite memory was getting involved with the students union. Um, my ability to join a, a committee um, and meet new students on campus and build relationships that lasted my entire undergraduate career um, was really something that I'll take with me um, post-grad. Um, and those are relationships that I'll have most likely for the rest of my life. So I'm really, really grateful to have been able to meet such great individuals and get involved in committees um, that I'm interested in and that I'm passionate about on campus. Uh, my favorite memory from first year, I think it was the first week of classes and I was new to the area. I didn't know anything about the campus. I hadn't taken a tour, so I didn't know where any of the buildings were. And I think it was my introduction to psychology class, introduction to psychology class. And as Dr. Altness mentioned, it's a pretty big class. There's about 200 students and I couldn't find the building and I was running late for class and I got in like five minutes before class started and it was packed. I couldn't find a seat. I didn't know where to sit. And there was this one seat empty next to this girl. And I just went up to her and I said, can I sit here? And she was like, yeah, sure. So I sat down and I was like breathing heavy because I was running and I was late. And she was like, don't worry, I got lost too. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I think that's one of my favorite memories because you, it just reminds me that like the people you're in the, your classes with, they're all going through the same thing. You're not alone in being lost or not knowing where to go or it being a new experience. Everyone's going through the same thing. And as it's been echoed in this um, meeting, we are a very close tight knit community. And just talking to that one girl that one day, she's one of my best friends four years later. So that's definitely my favorite memory. That is so cool. I'm so excited to hear that. That's so nice. And I can see how to like, for me, it's really fun to watch those relationships unfold. So I, as I'm in classes and I just over the 12 weeks of term, I see how, you know, people sit close to each other and then they start to be friends. And then it's just like, oh, it's really cool to see that they're learning together and they're they're building these social relationships together. So that's one of the things that I love the most about being at Laurie Brantford there. It's just the smallness of it, it has such a nice community feel. I get to know the students so well. I love that I can walk into a classroom and I know students' names and, and I get to know them very quickly because the classes are small enough. And I think it, 
I think it really helps the students too, or like I like to think that it helps the students because I, it feels easier to approach me, right? So, because I know your name as opposed to you're just a face in the crowd. Um, so I, I love that I get to know the students so well and that eventually they do come and see me during office hours or whatever, just to talk about, you know, next steps and what they would like to do with their psychology degree, et cetera. So it's, it's pretty cool to see that uh, you guys are, are getting so much out of the small kind of Brantford feeling campus. I'm happy to hear that. I, I think it's a fantastic campus. Um, I think that the sense of community that you get, um, I think even Laurier as a whole, I know it's very different experiences, whether you're at the Brantford campus or the Waterloo campus, but that sense of community and belonging and the support you get. I can't imagine it being like this anywhere else. It's such a special place to be. Um, and that story about sitting next to the girl and now she's your best friend gave me goosebumps. I'm like, oh, <laughs> such, such a nice story. Uh, well, again, I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your schedule to join us today and share some of your experiences. I have no doubt in my mind that your insights are going to be so valuable to the students who are watching this video, trying to picture themselves as a student in the psychology program at Laurier. So thank you again so much for joining us and hopefully we will see everybody on campus next fall.